Why, hello there. Is it safe to assume you have a crippling addiction to this game just like I do? <laughs> Perfect, you're gonna love this video. Hey, we got a new background here. It's cool, it's got planes. It's much better than whatever Arms Against Tyranny was doing, because that was, uh... Yeah. Today we're playing as a nation that I really like playing, and because it's everyone's favorite combination of small nation get really big. My peen communist China here with our great glorious leader Mao Zedong, Le Dong, the Dong Man, Mao Zedong, the Chad, the greatest leader of all of China, the only China, the real China. And if you disagree, I'm being held at gunpoint. No, I'm not. I lied. Help. We're just gonna line up against uh, Shang Z here. I just don't like them because they are not true China. They are fake China. Communist China starts off with basically nothing. <laughs> we have one province that has everything built on it already. I can't build any more factories, so we're just gonna maybe do some uh, infrastructure for now. And hopefully, as we expand, we should be able to build up our industry a little bit more. So the strategy today is though is that we're going to uh, justify on our Shangxi, declare war on them. But while we're justifying on them, we're also gonna justify on Zibidi Sanma, Zmiao Bufang. Because he's also fake China, not real China. Only one real China. This is real China. And so during this justification, this justification, you know, they should get done around the same time. We'll conquer these two territories, and then we'll have Sing King to all of our, or Sing Kang all to ourselves. And then that'll leave us this entire northern half of China and nothing left besides Manchukuo, China, and these two down here. Xing Zhao Zhui Zhao Lu Ti Di. Yeah, but Shangxi has such a small army, and then this also gives us a huge front with the Bisa man, who has a much bigger army than Shangxi. Boom! Invasion. Communist this China, the real China, will reign supreme over all of China. Maybe Tibet too while we're at it. Alright, so our justification is almost done here. Yep, there it is. There it goes. And we're also researching uh, some better guns, but we should, uh, yeah, we basically cleared our deficit. We're, we're just gonna go straight in here. Just there the war. We should be chilling. No, we can just completely avoid any sort of conflict whatsoever by going around everybody. There we go. Just like that, take all the states because you own it all, because you're the best China. And we are immediately turning around to Mao Bufang over here. Mao Bufang and his Zibidi Sanma. We got our justification for uh, Zibidi Sanma. Unfortunately, though, army's not quite ready, and we also got our new infantry equipment, so I'm actually going to do some cool secrets. Basically, this has 18 guns per day, but if I completely remove it, it resets my entire production efficiency, so I'm just going to remove one factory, let this build up a little bit, so keep up my 16 guns a day, and then as soon as these get about the same efficiency, I just swap them completely over. Put these guys in the army. Um, you know, not none of that stuff they need is important. Please, come on guys, get into position. What are we doing? What are we doing? Start walking, walk faster. This is not how Chinese men walk. Chinese men walk faster. Go, go, go. Clear the war. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. We got the divisions. Pin this guy, send this guy down this way. Help him out with the horse. Yeah, that should be the most of the army that they have surrounded. And then we'll send you on a wild goose chase over to no man's land. This this one division is holding on for dear life. Oh my god, go! I'm gonna ward this. Oh, and they surrendered with seven guns. That war done? Where is this one division? This guy was he a national hero? He's a national hero. We're we're renaming you. You need you need to be the the Minzu Yonjong, which means heroes of the nation. Anyways, moving on. Being being communist, the same as Sin Kang, is that I can ask for docking rights even though they're, <laughs> they're in the middle of asia this is like part gobi desert and mountainous and they're like oh yeah you can give us docking rights we may now base our ships at the port and resupply and repair them bro neither of us have freaking navy bro we know it has dockyards he's got the, he's got the fishing boat navy he's got the pt boats bro <laughs> this is so stupid it's perfect so now communist China is looking much better. I think it might be the play to join the Chinese United Front. I think that might be the play. <laughs> Here's why. Because we'll get all these nations to be in the same alliance. We'll beat Japan. We could betray China like that. It just feels like it works out real nicely. Okay, well, we're going to make our divisions into standard 18 with here, some 9, and then we'll add artillery as soon as we develop it. I am building a supply up here just to keep us looking pretty, but I don't know if this is going to get done in time. So we just formed the Chinese United Front. Um, we got Yunnan, Guangxi, Kli, China into it, and they're all going to join the war, I believe. We'll join in a minute. We're going to let Japan kind of push China around, you know, kind of bully them for a minute here. <laughs> Yellow River Blow understood a humanitarian tragedy 
Understood, bro. Understood. Oh, yes, you flooded and killed thousands of people. Understood. I want to have Falkenhausen as my chief of staff here, and so I need him to come here. You're just not, you're just fake China. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with that, bro. I don't mess with people who claim to be fake China. Only the real Chinese people could be in this China. Now leave. Leave. Get out of my country. I basically reorganized my army. I got a whole bunch of new divisions out here. I got some more in training. I got some production going. And I also fixed some of my laws here. We went down to extensive conscription because considering we have 3 million manpower and we were on service by requirement, I thought that was a little absurd. I researched some artillery just finished up right now. We're looking good. We're going to join the war and we're going to zoom around them. We're going to capture the supply ports here. Split it up. We're going to go two down south to get these ports here. Just ruin the supply for this army. And then we're going to push through. Man, Man, Mengchu, Mengkuko and Manchuko and to Korea. We're gonna join the war. There we go, and immediately start the invasion. I'm gonna see if I can get these guys to capture that. Why, why are you making me care to my own country? This did not go as expected. In fact, it actually went a lot worse than I thought it was going to. I am very disappointed in myself. Well, to be fair, I, I, I don't have artillery, they're just Raw, you know, that's probably what it is. I need to develop some artillery, All right? And that's World War II kicking off. Germany just declared war on Poland, and we're still stuck here. Um, I re kitted the army, uh, once again, I added improved artillery, so I'm doing some mobile warfare to get us that um, division attack on core territory, considering all of this is core territory. And I've also been buying a whole bunch of stuff on the market, basically, just been buying like trains and then some artillery pieces. I, I would like some air because cast would make this so much more easier and i'm thinking about buying some german fighters and actually now that i'm saying that aloud i'm gonna buy german i bought one german fighter economy is is going good i'm using most of it to buy stuff but we are making factories and we have a decent amount and the whole world's going kaput right now i don't like this this whole german protectorate this 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 stuff sucks especially the this this should be a puppet of germany because it was under direct German control. This, I'm indifferent about. Germany should just annex both of them because that just how it was before makes a lot more sense. Manchu, uh, Man, Mankuko, Mankuko, Man, Man, Mankuko. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That's crazy. They de orged me out of there and these divisions are dead. I'm so upset, what? Yes! Go, my pretties. Oh, it's all green, baby. Let's go. Don't let them breathe. Don't give them a second to think. I swapped over to superior firepower doctrine from Mass Assault. It's just, this is like memes. Like, I do this for memes of the Soviet gameplay, and this is this is just better. Bring me that Japanese ass. Awesome. Plug me the supply. Yes! Yo, we have supply. Let's go. So I'm over here focused, right? I'm focused. I get this notification. Soviet Union declares war in Hungary, and I thought, that is such a strange thing to do, Soviet Union. Why would you declare war in Hungary? What is wrong with you? And then I looked over, and Hungary is this. Hungary is Hungary. It looks like they annexed all of Romania. And Greece is still alive, by the way. This is so weird. Fun. USSR breaks Molotov from a drawback. <laughs> it's not how that works. Wait, is it because the USSR breaks it that Finland doesn't get the continuation war now? Wait a minute. <laughs> this might be meta. <laughs> this might be meta. <laughs> Wait a minute, this might be the play. Hold on, look, Finland doesn't get the continuation war now. That's so weird. And they're encircled, and we have supply. Oh, this is this is great. Look at this. Let's go. Oh my God, we could just we could just cut through them like butter. Dude, what a wonderful campaign right now. And I don't even think they declared war against the Allies. And if they did, I wasn't paying attention. They have it. Haha. <laughs> Ironic that's in Tobruk, the last stand. That's funny. I thought the Australians would be here, but no, wrong color green. We actually did it. All right, well, at least the allies are now at war. She successfully pushed them out of Korea. Um, and Man and Manchuria up here, we got the ports guarded, and we're just finally pushing them out down here, and this should give us the white peace deal. I think I'm cracked out of my mind. Man, the war, we've caused 2.37 million casualties, about less than a million was us. Like, shouldn't I get a white piece here? Like, I feel like we, like, right? There. Why don't we get like a, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. <laughs> I played this game for almost two years now with like a thousand plus hours. I have never seen this event before. Anglo-Soviet invasion of Iran. 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 <laughs> Iran. After weeks of planning, the United Kingdom is so... <laughs> <laughs>
The Soviet Union have launched a joint military operation in Iran with the aim of carrying out a swift operation against the enemy outnumbered and technologically outmatched. According to Winston Churchill, this operation will allow them to secure Iranian oil fields and British supply lines to the Soviet Union, while also preventing a potential enemy advance from Turkey through Iran towards Baku oil fields in British Raj. Historically, this did happen. Uh, there was actually a, there was a supply route they secured between uh, what is it? maybe it's this river here, but in order to get from British Syria to to the Soviet Union, and I'm pretty sure they also invaded Iraq around the same time. So they, they had this whole line here they would go through and supply the Soviet Union, but it doesn't even look like they need it because they are soloing right now. I got bored and I decided to pull back my army and basically do the infiltration focus. Beijing's not being infiltrated. We're going to declare war. This will make me leave the. The government of national defense. To keep Yunnan, Guangxi, clique, and China into it. I have divisions down here defending this. I don't know how I got it, but I have it. So they're defending this. And I should go to war with China. Oh. Alright, maybe I forgot to hit record. But look, we own all of China now. So I stabbed him in the back. Did a huge holy war. It was great. Immaculate. You should have been there. I could have, you should have seen it, man. It was great. Turkey, the Kurdish Republic of Iran. Turkey, are you stupid? You join the Axis. Dude, I don't know if you would want to do that, dude. The Axis is looking pretty pretty bad right about now. This should be our hairdrop strategy here. Will it work? I don't think so, but it'll be fun. And that's what we're here for. We're here for fun and not to make China best China, because China is best China. It's green, baby. Oh, we landed. They're guarding their ports like weirdos. Looks like the Paratrop was a failure. That's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset about it. You're upset about it. Ooh, looks like World War II and the victory in Europe has just finished. I have managed to produce a couple of... Uh, some really good submarines, some, and they keep getting sunk like crazy, but I'm producing a couple of them, and they're just calmly raiding the hell out of Japan. Um, let's see how bad the... Why does the United Kingdom feel, feel like the need to take the Muslin every single time? Soviet occupancy. Oh, this is pretty historical. Hold on. This is pretty historical. I I changed my mind at the Socialist Republic of Kurdistan. Also why Syria looked like this and Lebanon over here too. And the communist state of Tunisia, but I mean these borders are kinda clean. I ain't gonna I don't know why this exists, but these borders are kinda tight. I ain't gonna lie to you. And Poland this is a nice common turn. I I would be intimidated by this Eastern Bloc. This is a pretty good Eastern Bloc here. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even see Africa. What is this? Launch the attacks. Look at all of these. Yep, picking them clean. We actually got Hiroshima too. Really impressed actually. Why are we stopping? Who said you can stop? Keep pushing forward. China does not accept such weaklings in our army. This is a, hey, we, <coughs> we have the most war support. Let's go. Let's take everything. Right, let's see what the world looks like now. It should be a peak world, right? We have the Democratic People's of Korea as it should be the Chine Chinese Japan we took all of Indochina awesome just like real China should have we took Taiwan because prideful Chinese territory and we even got ourselves a Chinese Iraq <laughs> <laughs> Who put the Navy in charge, bro? If you look at this. That's a sick flag. I ain't gonna lie to you. And like true Chinese fashion, we have a maritime power. Dude, I love being true China. That will... No, wait. I Give me that. Tibet is rightful Chinese territory. Now we have a completed China. Look at this. This is to settle dispute of who owns Mount Everest once and for all. Hint. It's glorious China. Now there's no question on who owns Mount Everest, and there never will be. Nepal, I own it. Union of Red Dragons. Oh, that's such a cool name. That's a sexy China, bro. Look at that China. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe, and make sure you comment what kind of nation we play next. I really enjoyed playing as the PRC, and I will definitely always play this in the future. And if you guys want to see more, let me know. And without further ado, have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.